Hi and welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel and what is part one of what will be a running series of videos on my Project 12 Modular Synth I say a running series because um, I've not actually completed this I've, there's going to be more and more modules added as I, I, I whether I run out of ideas for modules or not I don't know um, at the moment there always seems to be more ideas to build so as I say this will be a, a running series um, and I'll, but I'll start with the beginnings and, and where I started putting this together um, and so the first place to start with any modular system is to actually have a box to put it in and a power supply to power up all the lovely modules that you're going to build and install so on this video we're going to have a look at the power supply um, the name project 12 comes from the fact that it actually runs on primarily a 12 volt dual rail supply so plus naught and minus 12 volts um, but as you'll see when we look in detail at um, the power module that uh, I've actually got options for other voltage outputs as well so let's come over to the bench and we'll have a look at the power module this is the power supply panel well it's a power supply panel it's not the original power supply from the very first project 12 box um, I've built well, this is the third one I've built because I also built one of these for my test frame um, there's another video on that uh, but it's it's basically the same design but because I'm kind of as I say this is a, a, a running series I'm building more and more modules um, I needed to build another box to start and put them in so I, what I do I build a power supply for each box so I'm not kind of trying to daisy chain boxes into a single power supply and overload things and that just leads to problems with uh, with the other modules um, the layout of the panel is, is fairly straightforward you've got an on off switch an LED to tell you that the power's on and then there's a 2.1 um, power socket on the bottom talking about the, the, the power supply let's have a look at what I actually plug into that socket is it's, it's got a UK power adapter um, the thing about it is because we're doing plus and minus 12 volts the output on this is 12 volt AC so it will swing plus and minus um, you cannot use 12 volt DC that it just it just won't work it's got to be 12 volt AC this particular adapter gives out uh, one amp so it's not a beefy power supply but as I say I've not had problems with it so far and um, because each box has its own power supply um, it's just the number of panels modules rather that are in that particular box that have been powered so let's have a look at what the circuit looks like so that's the circuit the circuit is actually the power supply on the modular in a week series um, I'll put a link in the description to that particular uh, video and you'll find the uh, the schematic for it there um, I've gone through one or two iterations of this design um, and this is, is kind of this is where I've got to and it, and it works it's it's reasonably reliable the heat sinks I don't think particularly need the heat sinks um, because the regulators there's a an LM7812 which does the plus 12 volt and then an LM7912 does the minus 12 volt now the the power supply you saw was rated at 1 amp these regulators are rated at 1.5 amp so really I'm kind of I'm not driving these things hard so I've had no heat problems but I got these at a it's kind of a um, uh, an electronics kind of surplus shop in uh, Lincoln that that's, it's, it's a bit like the old uh, XMOD shops where you could go in and find all sorts of weird and wonderful bits of kit and get electronic components and circuit boards and all. I'm, I'm yeah, 
if ever you're in Lincoln, it's on the hill going towards the cathedral. Go and check it out. It's brilliant. Well, I think it is, but then I'm weird. Um, yeah, okay, I'm rambling. Um, so, I've got a series of output headers here, which I can take leads off to uh, power my modules, or I can actually, if I wanted to, in the bottom of the case, I can put more of these headers and kind of daisy chain it along a bit, kind of Euro rack style. Um, so I've got plus 12 volt, not minus 12 volt. But I also build modules that require lower voltages like uh, 9 volt and 12 volt. So I built this little breakout board which is very simple, very straightforward. So I've got the plus 12 volt not coming in here and then this first regulator is a 78L09 which gives me plus 9 volt and not. And then on the output of that I've got a second regulator which is a 78L05 which gives me plus 5 volt and not. Now those two are rated at 500 milliamps so again I'm not particularly generating lots of power and overload in the system. Um, but I have I've not used the 5 volt one but I have used the uh, 9 volt one in uh, the original uh, Project 12 box and again I've had no problems with it. it it seems to work so what I'll do I'll put the strip board layout for for the main board and for my uh, 9, 9 volt 5 volt breakout board up uh, here so there you go you can you can see what the layouts are, really simple. Um, if you want to get the circuit diagrams, the module in a week will give you the circuit diagram for the main 12 volt supply. And um, just simply look up the data sheets for the uh, 78L series of voltage regulators and they'll show you how to put this power supply together. But it is literally um, the regulator and two capacitors that's it so really really simple so yeah if you're going to get into uh, the world of DIY modular synths you need to start with a power supply and you've got everything you need to yeah go on have a go build your own <laughs> Thank you.